The only show that lasts the length of a cereal bowl. Eating breakfast with Jeremiah. Oh, hey friends. Welcome back to another episode of Eating Breakfast with Jeremiah. As you can see, I don't have cereal today. I've got some different food because you guys kept saying that your boy was only eating sugar for breakfast. Today's featured food is pretty healthy. A banana, orange juice, and a breakfast burrito, which has egg and spinach in it. Pretty solid. Mm. And my buddy's Ha Ha Hot Sauce, Dave Yates. Go check it out. It's honestly one of my favorite hot sauces that I like to put on breakfast and different things. Oh, a lot of fun people joining. Have your breakfast ready. There's two rolls on this show. You gotta keep it positive and you gotta be eating food while you chat with me, okay? So we're gonna go live pretty soon here with some of our guests. But you know what? I've got a special guest that's gonna join the show right now. And if you like this show, go catch up on the episodes on YouTube. What do you say? YouTube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. William Montgomery was my last guest. And you know what that means? There's another pal that's probably in the waiting room. Today's special guest is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. You know him as the drummer for Kill Tony. It's the one, the only, Joel Jolbert Jimenez. <laughs> oh, hey, Jeremy. <laughs> Good morning, dude. I was like, who is it? Who's the special guest? It's freaking you, dude. <laughs> wow, that's nice, dude. Hell yeah. How's it going? Good good morning. You already said that, jeez. Good morning, dude. How, I'm how, not... How are you? I'm doing all right. I, I'm not usually up this early, but uh, I woke up like at 7.30 today, so I was already prepped and ready to go. Okay, nice. Well, what are you having for breakfast this morning? This is kind of embarrassing, all right? I, like, I joined I joined a gym recently, so I didn't want to go too heavy. So I'm going back to my old, <laughs> like, disgusted already. <laughs> I got, it's bananas and almond butter. It looks awful, though. It looks That's okay. Like, I thought you were going to say, this is embarrassing. I don't have food. And I was going to no. say, dude, I don't want to have to boot one of my best friends in the world from the show. Dude, I know the rules, dude. Do you think I'm a crazy person? No, dude. <laughs> gotta respect the rules yeah bananas almond butter i got a little bit of coffee i'm headed to the gym around 10 o'clock i didn't want to go too heavy so guess what i made in your honor <laughs> breakfast burrito dude i this saw it dude never been done on the show before i've never eaten a breakfast burrito wow. on the show but my pal joel jimenez i gotta represent i'm gonna have my first bite Oh, wow, that looks, the tortilla looks pretty good. I grilled it real nice. Mm -hmm. I, I made the eggs and the spinach, okay. and afterwards, same pan, put down the tortilla in there, put it over a couple times, and then I folded it over, so I cooked it after. I put it back in there, and yeah. Mm. Nice. Did you, did you grill it after you folded it? Oh, that's nice. That's a good move, man. I, I cooked it while the eggs were cooling a little bit and then i put the eggs back in to fold it up to press it nice so dude like a, like a taco bell grilled stuff <laughs> oh man taco bell mm. i um it'd probably be good like on a panini press mm. but you might squeeze stuff out yeah <laughs> <laughs> or put it on a mike tyson grill <laughs> you mean george foreman <laughs> The Mike Tyson grill's way more violent. It's way more aggressive. Yeah. You know, with, with chunks of your body missing after you use it. Oh, is that all you got, bitch? Um, that, 
people are asking, Jeremiah, is beer breakfast? I got to say no. I let that happen earlier in the show just because it was brand new, but I don't allow it anymore just because it's like, it's, there's nothing. It's just a drink. If it's a protein shake or something like that, then that could work. But eh. what about if they pour beer? What if they do a beer float, like ice cream in a Guinness or something? Does the ice cream turn it into food? And that's what I call a loophole, Joel. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself for thinking of that because I'm Dude, immediately I go, like, oh, how can I do this? You thought of that so quick. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know. That's like a William Montgomery. Uh, is that who drank? I'm going to guess that's probably who drank on. Mm-hmm. The dude from Glasgow. He was drinking. Mm. Oh, that makes party. sense. I was going to say, the Irish don't fuck around. Man. Mm. I saw I saw a documentary on Russia once where they were just doing vodka shots at lunch. Yeah, that's, uh, part of, that's probably just their culture. Who knows? Yeah. I was like, who do they think they are? Me? Bill Billingsley? <laughs> Bill Billingsley does get a little wild, bro. I know. The more I think about it, I'm like, hey... Joel, you know you don't actually have to drink. You could you could just put water in the flask and pretend. But I go full method, dude. You're method man. <clears throat> that's what I call you, method man, dude. Yeah, that's right. I was ready to do it because I did a month where I didn't drink. And uh, I was like, if we do Bill Billingsley, I'm just going to fake it. Yeah, why not? What's your favorite heard... breakfast food, uh, Derek Hall asked Joelbert? Oh, uh, you know, I was, oh, man, if I'm doing, like, favorite and I'm not, sort of watching what I eat, man, that's a good one. I got a lot. I, I like a, I like a good breakfast burrito with, like, bacon or something. Or, a, um, oh, you know what's really good is br- breakfast burritos with hash browns inside of them. Yeah. That's the best. Like, hash browns, cheese, eggs, bacon. Uh, you can make a pretty dangerous breakfast burrito. Oh, you can ruin your whole day. <laughs> dude, that's my goal bro that's my dude, goal. the best part of waking up is poop coming out of your butt dude the best part of waking up is poop coming, coming out, out, out of your butt dude heck yep, yeah we, well, another song we have to record i guess <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the studio in ventura this weekend yep. um man that ha ha hot sauce makes me jealous i i ran out a while ago and i haven't re-upped yet Dude, people think I'm playing around. I literally use this all the freaking time. Well, I, I've been thinking about that a lot. It's a really versatile, like, hot sauce, you know? There are all those hot sauces that, like, there's so many, right? Like, every flavor. But what I've realized is, like, how often are you going to use those? Like, how often it's, um, to them? yeah, there's a reason why we have, like, the sort of top four, you know, Tapatio, Tabasco, Cholula, because <clears throat> they seem to be the most well-rounded. Yeah, kind of go go with everything, but uh, yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what to. How's that almond butter and uh, and bananas? It's good. I love it. I, I'm always like when I, when we were still able to do jujitsu before the pandy. Uh, that was like my favorite thing to eat before class because you wouldn't be super heavy or and you feel like you're getting calories if i was in a rush i'd just get a spoon of almond butter and just like figure it out later but then you're like it's pretty dry but you know is it i'll blend it is it chalky no i not really i get the smooth kind (laughs) uh i get the smooth kind um but yeah it's just it's just like a kind of like a protein shake deconstructed if you will are you a hot sauce guy that puts on how i've been doing it individual bites like this or do you put hot sauce over the whole thing and then let it syncopate i think i'm more like you i think i do that because sometimes i'll be crazy and i'll have two different hot sauces i'll have like Mm -hmm. tapatio and tabasco and i'll I'll alternate which is weird i may have to do a hot sauce episode of eating breakfast with jeremiah because i've got you know how many i have there's so many (laughs) Yeah, but you've collected way more, I think, since the last time I've even seen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, would you say, I would say Ha Ha Hot Sauce, probably one of the better, one of the top, you know, especially since we, like, he's a friend of, of ours. It's, like, pretty impressive. Yeah, it's he, a comic who does it, you know? 
Yeah, and he came up with a good... It's funny, because as a hot sauce company, you think about it, but you never really think about all the work it probably took to nail the recipe. And then to, like, trust putting it out there. I have a hard enough time putting out music that I've made where it's, like, I'm just nervous about what people are going to think about it. So I can't imagine a food product. Oh, man. I I would love to hear some of the music that you've been working on. You've been working yeah, on I, loops and different stuff like that, right? You've been like yeah, I got... Yeah, I've been... Yeah, for sure. There's one out already. It's on uh, the links in my bio. It's on uh, I started a band camp, which is pretty cool. They're a pretty good uh, like like website. They'll, they they give you a pretty good amount of like the money from people's downloads. And then um, they're doing a thing where every first Friday of the month, they're waiving their fee. So you get whatever money people, you know, donate for the download, you get to keep all of it. So that's pretty cool. I'll check um, that out and check that out in Joel's Instagram bio. Yeah, yeah it's this is a new first... song. Uh, you'll like this comment. Uh, Enroll says Jeremiah is an honorary Latino with all that burrito knowledge. What up, Enroll? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It's funny. I think um, I was thinking about the difference between Mexican and Tex-Mex the other day. Basically, Tex-Mex they just put cheese on Mexican food. That's yeah. it. Yeah, anything, anything that's like you can add queso to or anything. That's that, I think that's the main difference is like just adding that like southern or midwestern flair. It's like we're gonna put yeah. queso on it. We're gonna add piles and piles of cheese because street tacos, they don't even have cheese on them. They're just like the meat. Super simple, it, yeah. Straight to the point. Maybe what do you do? Because I know you're not a cilantro fan, but when you go get tacos like that, do you do? Onion, usually it's mixed up already, but... I just ask them for no mix. I mean, that's where, like, the white side of me is. I'm like, eh, I'd rather not. But then I ask for a lot of habanero sauce. So then I kind of bow, bounce it out. I put habanero sauce all over it. Did you ever go to Leo's? That place was fucking sick. Mm -mm. So um. this is another thing that I'm going to try because uh, our buddy Stefan Benson, he sent this. This is only made in Canada. And I saw that. They don't make it in the States, so I was going to try this. Yeah. It's a Cadbury Crispy Crunch. I've never even heard of this candy before in, in the U.S. It sounds very British, actually. A Cadbury yes. Crispy Crunch. A Cadbury Crispy Crunch. As opposed to, uh, what was it in Australia? A Chucky Bicky. <laughs> Chucky Bicky? Uh, Isaac Vlahos, you keep saying, can you read my joke? Uh, but put it one more time in the comments and then I'll read it for you. I can't read, dude, so no. <laughs> Whoa, James Tease, you said Crispy Crunch is S-word, fam. Whoa, watch <laughs> the negativity, pal. Let me try it. Maybe he meant the S-word. Oh, wait I, a minute. I just bit into the plastic on this. There's like a <laughs> there's a plastic tray on this thing. That's the crunch part, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hmm. It's like a low end butterfinger. <laughs> Whoa, positivity, dude. Right. Low end? No, no, I didn't mean that. That's highbrow chocolate. How dare oh. you? Oh, it's sticky. It's like a stickier. <laughs> Less endowed butterfinger. <laughs> endowed <laughs> looks pretty big to me, dude. Oh, 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 oh. dude! Shout out to Stefan Benson. That guy's a that guy's a true angel. Yeah, he's done some stuff for me too that I don't want to talk about on this uh, show, but just great guy all around. Saved me a few times. Um. Isaac never sent back in his uh, his joke. He just keeps saying, read my joke. So I don't know what that wow. means. Wow. Maybe he DM'd you. I'm not going to see it during a live. Yeah, you great guy. <laughs> I almost went negative there. I tried to keep it. <laughs> I know. Got to Everything looked good. Butterfinger. All right. Let's see. Here. Mm. Well, Joel, what you got planned the rest of the day? Um, just a bunch of errands, man. I got, well, I, wait, I'll tell you right now, Jeremiah, bacon or sausage, someone asked. This is a good question for you, I think. I'm more, uh, I'm more of a sausage guy, I think. Because you like biscuits and gravy, and that's got sausage in it. That's like your favorite thing, right? That's my favorite breakfast. Um, oh, I've been craving a Cracker Barrel uh, biscuits and gravy and the sausage links. Oh, man. Yeah, I think you took me to Cracker Barrel the first time. It was 
maybe with you, Tony, and Red Band. Um, Joel, if you want, if you want to read Isaac's joke, I guess we'll allow it. All right, let me see. Let's it's see, per, Isaac. Okay, little, here we go. It's a little rough, but I got it. All right. I'll, and uh, okay, we're gonna try to keep it positive. Nothing here we go. against you, Isaac, but all right, Joel's gonna read your joke. Okay. The first time I had sex with my girlfriend, I caught her staring at the TV two and a half strokes in. She was locked eyes with Bruce Willis. She was watching the movie Die Hard. That's the only time I wanted to die hard. I thought you said you had a joke, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It just gets real negative. <laughs> How dare you No. Come on <laughs> this show with that no, it's true. It's an honorable um, try. Dude, I am honored that I took you to Cracker Barrel because that's one of those places that for me as a kid that I have a lot of good memories attached to that wow. place. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of Man. good breakfast. Like, I, I go back there to uh, to Kansas. Um, and uh, my dad and I will still eat at Cracker Barrel most of the visits that I go back. So it's like, so I, I was stoked that we were able to eat there on the road. Oh, it's so good. I mean, talk about breakfast. They really knock it out of the park. And it's like, it's pretty affordable. Like, oh man, I've had some of my favorite breakfasts ever there. And then you get the Uncle Herschel's, which has like, I think, unlimited biscuits and gravy. So they just uh, keep burning yeah, it. Yeah. I'm going to need another round. Oh my God. Yeah. I My favorite there is the when you get the, not the sausage, but the link, the hot link, it's like a oh, full yeah, you, hot link. Yeah, it's a whole hot link. Yeah. Oh, man, and it's spicy. It's delicious, dude. And then I think me and you have had, uh, you buy those candies, some sort of. Oh, the peppermint sticks. That, that's right, yeah. I think we came back from Arizona. We were just eating them on the way back. Dude, um, th so there's a Cracker Barrel out here, but it's it's far. I think it's like in Hemet or something. Yeah, but, most of them are, like, on the way to Vegas or something like that. But uh, my mom wants – I want to take my mom because I, I, like, rave about – she's a big uh, Biscuits and Gravy fan, too, so I, I want her to try that. I know. Dude, Momberg is a beast. <laughs> I know. I thought about it. I told her yeah. she should call in sometime. She should. She should. Yeah. Amazing woman, amazing cook, and just an amazing mom. Shout out to Momberg. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm, you know, I might not be here pursuing my dreams had it not been for – supportive parents true man it's awesome because i'm a i'm a weirdo i mean think about the weird stuff we do on stage like i'm happy i have like a parent i can like show like hey look i put this dildo on i battled this guy and she's like that's awesome <laughs> wait a like, son. i do hide it from my dad sometimes <laughs> like I, when i'm like cleaning out my car i just like put it in a bag sneak it in <laughs> you, the house. You, you just have a dustpan for whatever reason <laughs> Dildo into a <laughs> he's like what or if i like dropped it like it my backpack falls and everything falls on the floor like well family's here yeah not during the pandemic no family over during the pandemic just so you know all right there's a lot of rumors going on <laughs> have you ever had a mars bar i feel like yeah a while ago now correct me if i'm wrong but i believe mars is that that mars is the company that does like three musketeers and all those things right is that i think so so that's their flagship bar. Uh, by the way, you're eating candy at 8.45 in the morning. But I'm also you look... I'm just testing. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm, I've, you, been you... I've been nursing this burrito, but it's probably time that I tell you goodbye, Joel. Do you want to say anything before I... Because I got to get a couple other people in the, in the mix. You got it. Real quick, when you said nursing a burrito, I thought it would be funny. You cut to you breastfeeding a burrito. It's like, yeah. Um, no, that's it. This is fun. This was, uh, you know, have fun, everybody. And, uh, you know, love each other, be nice to each other, hug your pets, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. That's my pal, Joel Dolberg Jimenez. Call him at yeah. Star on the socials. I love you, buddy. And love you too, man. Positive. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. Bye. Bye. Wow. This is going to be a good day. You can just feel it sometimes. You can just tell. I've only got a little bit of burrito left, so that means I got to go live with one or two more people. So let's see who is requesting to come on in. This looks like a comedian because comedy is in their name. 
Let's see. Best Barbecue, shout out to you. Check out his page, Best Barbecue Yoni in the house. Hey, what's up, dude? Holy crap, I can't believe. Holy, okay. <laughs> this How's is, it going? Um, it's going great. I just got out of class. Heck yeah. Are you eating breakfast? Uh, not currently. I was going to. Like, Bye-bye. Oh, man. I really don't like when I boot people. I will hop back on with you immediately if you get something to eat real quick. But, oh, unfortunately, I had to let you go. I always feel like a meanie when I do that. But if you grab something to eat before this live stream and then come back, then I will bring you right back in. All right, pal? Those are the rules. The only rules of the show, you got to keep it positive. You got to be eating. All right. Let's see. This has an interesting handle. And um, let's see who this is that's calling in to the show. Hello there. Hi. And you're eating some breakfast. What are you eating? I'm eating I'm eating cinnamon protein pancakes. Cinnamon protein pancakes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, what, all, what all is in cinnamon protein pancakes? A banana. So I put a banana in there. Mm -hmm. I've been on like a fitness kick recently, so I'm I'm trying to stay good. Um so I put in a banana, black seed meal, protein powder and egg whites and then I put peanut butter on top of it. Oh, see, peanut butter is the kicker. For me, like, my wife and I are obsessed with peanut butter. So, we, like, we, we just had pancakes yesterday uh -huh. with, with oh, some peanut butter. Oh, makes the whole thing. Oh, it's so good. Creamy or crunchy? That's the question it's, for it's, you. It's creamy. It's, it's got creamy. It's got to be creamy for you? Okay. I yeah. do. I do creamy for pancakes and waffles, but I'll add some crunch. I'll get a little wild sometimes for a PB&J. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a little crack. A little spicy. A little spicy. That's <laughs> awesome. Where Where are you uh, joining me from? Um, I'm in Philly. Nice. I live in Philly. Yeah. yeah. So you're having a little bit of a late breakfast. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Getting up. I'm about to start working for the day, and then I I saw you went live, so I hopped on. Heck yeah. Yeah. What do you do for work? Um, I am a recording engineer. I work at a recording studio. Oh, recording any fun stuff right now? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, well, I'm mixing right now. Um, or I'm about to start mixing. But yeah, I actually got promoted recently. So um, I have, a, yeah, I have a really cool, like, bigger project that I'm working on. I'm really excited. Heck yeah, congrats. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome. Yeah. That's I just, amazing. what'd you say? I said, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I actually was just, I started to watch Kill Tony probably like a year and a half ago. And um, I've been waiting, or maybe a year ago, because it was, it was after the last time that you guys had come around. But I'm waiting for you guys to come back because I want to come play music. <laughs> oh, what instruments do you play? Um, I play guitar um bass and i'm learning the drums now uh and keyboard wow that's yeah that's a lot well maybe when this pandemic yeah settles down and we come back to philly you can join us that would yes. be super cool that would be so fun yeah heck yeah well thanks for eating breakfast with me today you're yeah, awesome thank you it was nice to meet you <laughs> nice to meet you too have a great day you too thanks I mean, that's how you do it, guys. That's how she was ready. She had her breakfast. She was eating it. She had a great conversation. She was positive. I mean, she represents exactly who I'm looking to eat breakfast with in the show. Positive, nice people who are ready to eat. I feel I feel bad about that one guy was so nice that I booted that he didn't have anything to eat. But I mean, them's the rules. Um, oh, Yoni, I hope that you are eating breakfast right now because I want to talk to this guy. He makes some of the best barbecue and reviews some of the best barbecue in the country. Yoni, what's up? What up? How are you? I'm pretty good, dude. Looking like a fighter pilot this morning, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm at my setup, so I sound good. 
Okay. Heck yeah, dude. Can you hear me on that? <laughs> yeah, it's a little. For whatever reason, it's a little like tiny. Like it's a little. It's a little. Turned up. Oh, how about that? I think that's better. A little better. Yeah, a little bit better. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm eating my favorite thing: cold pizza for breakfast. <clears throat> what kind of breakfast? Uh, what kind of pizza is that? It's a fried eggplant. Oh, interesting. I've never even seen that on a pizza before. Yeah, it's super good. It's like eggplant parmesan, but, you know, in slices. Yeah. Huh. People are saying that Eric Griffin has really changed. Um, I guess you got that Eric Griffin stuff. Griffin with Griffin. Griffin with Griffin, yeah. He's got to be one of the most fun people to have on, right? He's the best dude. He's so fun to riff with because he's one of those guys who he acts like he's not having a good time, but he's he has the best time. Like he's always like, "Oh, what are we doing here?" And then he's just like, so fun to riff with. What What are you eating there? I'm I'm nursing a a, a breakfast burrito. I'm, I'm I'm near the end of it right now. Uh, tell people real quick, Yoni. I'm gonna add one more person before I go, but tell people um about your barbecue uh page because. You brought us barbecue a number of times now in Texas. You know all the amazing spots, and you got like a great podcast and uh, barbecue review show. Thanks, that man. You do that um, I want people to know about since they're watching this food show. You can find me at Best Barbecue uh, or Best BBQ Show on YouTube. I've got about 150 podcasts. About 15 or 20 of them are on YouTube now. I'm working on editing, and you know I'm a one man show, um, but I'd love to do it Hollywood style like you do. Uh, but yeah, every Monday or so. There's a podcast. Um, the YouTube videos are coming out faster and faster. And uh, yeah, anytime you're in Texas, hit me up at Best Barbecue on Instagram. I'll tell you all about the scene. Heck yeah. And we'll, we'll have to do the next time I'm in Texas, we'll have to do uh, your podcast, dude. Hell yes. Thank you. I right, love you, brother. I'll, I'll see you soon. Peace. Peace. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, get one more guest um, because obviously you can see this um, burrito is very close to the end. In the meantime, let me try this Mars bar. I know it's candy for breakfast, but I'd also, I'm just curious. I don't think I've ever had a Mars bar before. I'm wondering if it's like a Three Musketeers. This is the same company. It's very gooey. Let's see. Oh, this is an interesting request. I hope this is really him, because I, this is another one of my favorite comedians. Ron Funches is joining the show. Nice. I can tell I have makeup on my face. I look beautiful. You look really good. Truly. How you doing, pal? Well, I mean, better than you. You're eating Mars bar for breakfast, so. Let, let's keep it positive. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at right now? Uh, I'm on set. I'm in this show for True TV, so I'm just working. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Thank I, you. I, I would love if you called in the show just to check your makeup. Like, hmm, I look really nice right now. <laughs> I mean, I was really just taking taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? I'm at my place. I'm eating breakfast. Okay. And yeah, this is the show. I eat breakfast with different friends and strangers, and do you have any food on you right now? I have a protein shake in this cup because you, you Yes. You qualify as being able to stay on the show. I have to I feel bad sometimes. I boot people when they don't have a breakfast or a food related item that they're that they're working on. That makes sense. And I would have felt really bad to have to boot my good friend Ron Funches because I always say them's the rules and people hold me to it. So they would have been mad if I if you didn't have anything and then I didn't boot you. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even know what was going on. I just saw your face. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I just had a Mars bar. I breakfast? had a breakfast burrito. Oh, so you had an actual breakfast. Well, I mean, that, does, I mean, that I, doesn't I made... even really sound like breakfast. Yeah, well, I know a breakfast burrito. I had it had eggs, spinach in it, and uh, I grilled it on both sides, like a like a, you know, like the Taco Bell style, like a grilled stuffed burrito. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. That does sound good. I love a grilled stuffed burrito. That's been my it's, that's it's my so, favorite. 
It's so <laughs> That's good. what? My, one, my favorite oh, so food. Are you, are... Oh, we got a connection. What's your favorite food group? <laughs> <laughs> Comedy does <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> what did you say your favorite food group is? Stuff stuffed with other stuff. Oh, stuff stuffed with other stuff. Perfect. That was the timing on that was so funny. Like it was literally like a. Are you normally a uh, a protein shake guy for breakfast? Not if I'm at home. That you know I can't. I, they don't have like stuff here. Yeah. Uh, but at home, you know, I they have oatmeal or some egg whites with uh, some veggies and eat it, some turkey in it. Yeah, that's the best thing on, on set when they have like all the ingredients and and yeah and they're like, "What would you like?" and you're like, "That, that, that, and that, please." Yeah, it's really fun when like you really still be a kid and you're just like, "Oh, you want to feed me?" And I can, yeah, anything I can just imagine. The the first time I booked like a commercial, I didn't know that the food was for us. And I, I kept looking around, like, I, I even asked some people, I'm like, how much is this food? <laughs> and they're like, that's, they're like, that's for you. I was like, that's for me? They're like, yeah, you're like the lead guy in this commercial. I was like, really? <laughs> Charlie in the chocolate factory. <laughs> Dude, 100% is like, come with me. <laughs> So they taught me what around the world was that day. That really got weird for me on my end. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what happened. I, I was just I was just waiting and, and taking a sip of orange juice on my end for a moment. I was like, maybe it'll fix itself. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, where's your, where's Maya? She's sleeping right now. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I was like, are you, will you be, what time do you have to go into work? I always have to preface that. I'm like, what time are you going into work today? And she's like, oh, a little bit later. I'm like, ooh, I'll do my breakfast show today. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Um, I think this is episode eight. Mm -hmm. So like the last like a uh, month and a half, two months. Yeah, and you were you were a great great surprise to 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 cap off this episode. Well, I'm glad that you would have me. Thank you for for having me. I appreciate. It. Yeah, I hope you have an awesome uh, rest of your day um, on set, dude. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'd love to hear all about it once uh, once you're all wrapped and everything. Okay, well, I'll tell you now. I'll plug it on your on your breakfast show. Do it. I would, Jeremiah. <laughs> Do it. I'm on a show. It's called Top Secret Videos. It's coming out on October 29th on True TV. Me and Brian Postane and Ali Colbert and Matt Walsh. And I play an intern at a government agency. And I think Seth's right over here. So I'll show it to you and then I'll leave. Yes. Oh, oh my good. This is the best exclusive ever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably not supposed to be showing this. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, thanks so much for joining Eating Breakfast with Jeremiah, and I'll talk to you soon, pal. Absolutely. Have a great day, buddy. All right. Later. I mean, guys, wow. This show, it's an evening with the stars. Amazing. Oh, I think we have to wrap it up now, guys. Oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to, I've had so many friends on the show. Rock and roll beer guy. I'll get with you next time. Cause I love you, dude. And, um, uh, I'm literally out of food. And I, Steph and I, I tried the, this Cadbury crunch and it was, I, I like the Mars bar. I'll say that. Um, we got to go. We've already gone, gone over our time. We, <sighs> It's been so fun today, guys. Like I said, catch up on YouTube on the other episodes. This is like episode eight now. I hope you guys have a wonderful, positive day. Uh, love one another, just like my pal Joel Berg said. 
and have a great rest of the day. See you next time on Eating Breakfast with Jeremiah. The only show that lasts the length of a cereal bowl. Eating Breakfast with Jeremiah.